good day ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the off-grid enclave. In this video I will be showing how to build a three-stage septic for your off-grid dwelling. As you can see on the picture, a septic tank system of three stages consists of two big compartments and the wastewater drain field. Of course you need to size these compartments according to your wastewater production and overall size of your dwelling. Same goes for the drain field. You have to size that according to your needs. If you design this well, this can also double down as biogas production facility. It is not complex to upgrade a septic tank system to harvest biogas from that. A very important aspect that should be mentioned is that the wastewater is being broken down by bacteria. When using a septic system like that, you have to be a bit careful with choosing your soaps, cleaning liquids, shampoos and things that go down the wastewater line. So much for the theory, let's get started then. Most of the septic system is gonna be underground. So one of the most important tools for this is gonna be a digger. I will be using my small towable digger for this, compact in size and just about right for this job. It can work to about 2.5 to 3 meters of depth, and that should be enough for this. This small digger does quite well in off-road and hilly terrain. The leg design is quite nice for that kind of terrain. I love this type of digger for small and medium sized projects. To start with, we move our digger to the position where we want the hole for the septic tanks. If you use a digger for these kind of jobs, make sure that the area is clean of pipes, hoses, electric lines and things of that sort. When using shuffles, it is much harder to break these things than when using a digger. A few moments later. After about 3 to 4 hours of work, we have a decent hole to start with. On the left side, you can see the pipe coming from the house that was connected to the old single stage septic tank. You can see the tank partially on the left side of the hole. The old single stage septic system was done on the quick and had many design flaws. This is why we're building a three stage septic that is much better thought through. A few moments later. After a few more hours of digging, we have reached about two and a half meters. This should be sufficient for our project. It's a bit hard to see from up here and the fish eye lens of the camera distorts the view a bit. I'm gonna see to get down there to give you guys a good overview. It's a bit hard to put into perspective. I really hope the camera down there shows the angle. The floor plate of the septic tank is not gonna be straight but going downhill in about 35 degree angle. You can notice the grey color of the floor material. This is because I sprinkled cement all over the ground to have it harden a bunch overnight so when we start to make the real ground plate I don't have dirt to work with but a semi-solid surface. This will make things much more easier in the next step. For conveniency and ease of display, and totally not because somebody deleted the video files, I will be showing the next steps in this nice professional MS Paint style scheme. Luckily, only the videos of one day went missing. To start with, I concreted around 5 to 10 centimeters of solid plate on the bottom, using a lot of rocks and natural stones as filler for that. In the next step, I started building up the walls using hollow concrete stones. Stacking up a few layers of these hollow concrete stones and reinforcing them with metal V-bars, the hollow insides of the stones gets filled with concrete. Wait a day or two to let the concrete dry and settle, and a day later we can start building the inside wall that separates the two chambers. Same again here, I was using hollow concrete stones to make up the wall and reinforced that with metal and then filled it with concrete. The tubing that connects chamber 1 and chamber 2 of the septic systems has also been integrated into the middle wall. For my system I chose to not have the wall go all the way up but leave a little overflow in case the pipe gets clogged. Next we added the concrete ceiling for the middle of the septic tank. After this we started connecting the exit pipe. Back to having videos, you can see how the project looked in reality at that point. 
At the edge of the pit you can again see the grey color from sprinkling dry cement directly on the dirt and watering it a little bit to not have the dirt constantly fall into the construction area. In the back you can see the rather long pipe that goes from the second compartment to the third stage and then the drain fields. I will see to climb down there and give you guys a good overview. Meanwhile I'll be throwing some numbers around. The hollow concrete stones are 15 cm in thickness, 50 cm in width and 25 cm in height. The total height of my septic tank is in the first compartment about 1 meter 50, in the second compartment about 1 meter and 75. The first compartment is about 1 meter 25 on 70 centimeters. The second compartment is about 70 on 70 centimeters. The third stage, which is an open air compartment, is about 50 on 50 centimeters. I added a T-piece to the exit pipe and will also add a T-piece to the entrance pipe. That T-piece I will extend with the pipe all the way to the surface, so if need be and the pipe needs declocking, that can be done from the maintenance shafts at the surface level. Here is a good view on the overflow that I built into the middle wall that separates the two chambers. Following the exit pipe to the last stage and the drain field, you can see overall it takes quite some resource to get a project like this done. Calculate your resources ahead of time properly and also keep in mind that all of these resources need moving to the site. Depending on your location this may take quite some time and should be considered in the planning. Three days later. Using the magic of the internet we teleported a few days ahead in time. And here you can see we already extended the incoming pipe from the house. You can also see the greenish color that the inside of the septic tank now has. That color is actually a rubber based ceiling to make sure the septic water stays contained within the tank. Usually this material requires two layers. To make sure it works I put three. I'm gonna climb down there and see to get the camera inside and give you guys a good look around. As you made it this far into the video, consider dropping a like if you enjoyed this content. Subscribe and hit the bell for future videos. Thanks a lot. Three days later. After a few more days of work, we got to this stage of the project. You can see the maintenance shafts are almost done. The pipe coming from the house is connected, has a T-piece and the T-piece also has an extension coming up the maintenance shaft. Of course, doing such a digging project in the garden, the wolf and its puppy had to inspect the progress of the construction site. It's a mighty fine hole down there after all. At this point I already started to move the earth and the ground back into the hole and started to compress it on the sides. There is not much more to add at this stage of the project. I will give you guys an overview how it looked at this stage. Three days later. Two days later. I finished up working on the maintenance shaft, closed all the connections and the last pieces properly and continued to throw more ground and earth back into the hole. There was also some progress made on the third stage of the septic system, the open air filter towards the drainage field. This last stage will be filled with about 20 centimeters of small rocks and stones. A positive side effect of that build is that it will have a natural overflow. Technically our septic system is ready now and we can start using it. We have the compartments built and sealed, all the pipes are connected and the maintenance shafts are finished. The remaining work on the project is to clean up and make it look nice. After a few hours of shuffling and compressing the ground the construction site looks kind of finished. I put a simple sheet metal plate on top of the maintenance shafts to close them up. In the future the maintenance shafts will become a proper ceiling on top to collect the methane after the bacteria have been formed. I also sprinkled some grass seeds on top of the ground to help nature grow back faster. 
speaking of nature we can now start filling the septic and actually use it but for it to properly work it needs bacteria that will come naturally but it is also possible to get these bacteria as a culture and basically inject that into your septic tank after it's filled. This will kickstart the bacteria's growth and cut down severely on the time it needs to have a proper functional septic system. After a few days of usage, the first stage of the septic tank has filled about halfway. This is a good time to add the bacteria culture and enzymes. If you have any questions about this or other projects, don't be shy, hop on our Discord, I'll put the link down there in the description. Thanks you all for watching, have a great day and make it count!